Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and lots of allegedly's, allegedly's, allegedly's. Hope you're having a great day, allegedly. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just want to talk a little bit about dead eyes. You know, Harry's been looking quite dead in the eyes lately. Uh, a lot of it is the drugs, allegedly entertainment purposes, and all the white powders and God knows what else he's on, allegedly. And so I wanted to talk about a bit briefly about the dead eyes um, uh, because, well, it came across my social media. I thought, yeah, let's talk about those dead eyes. Uh, it's not just the dilated pupils and... Um, uh, that drug fueled look uh, that everybody knows that happens with certain substances allegedly it also is the psychopathic stare as we all know it's that very flat effect cold unemotional uh, stoic uh, like nobody's home look shark eyes I like to it kind of looks like shark eyes to me uh, you will spot it. It uh, You can catch glimpses of it, and it's often you can easily catch it. I see it in photographs quite often. It's very easy to spot in photographs, by the way. Uh, Elizabeth Holmes, you know, the one who uh, did that uh, blood testing uh, situation where she was touted as being, you know, the next billionaire like Steve Jobs. She was really classic being having that caught on film. I mean, she's really got the creepiest uh, flat flat effect on her face uh, with the dead eyes, the dead shark eyes. And so uh, if you want to know what it really looks like, just, just Google her. Uh, Harry, uh, you can Google uh, Prince Harry dead eyes and you will see it also. Uh, so I did uh, use that as the uh, image for my video here. So with that dead eyes, it's very common with the narcissist, psychopathic uh, uh, category, sociopath. Uh, a lot of sociopaths will do it. I would put Harry more in the sociopathic category because, you know, because really what it is is his uh, disassociative state. Uh, that's what happens with the narcissist, sociopath, psychopaths. Because I believe allegedly entertainment purposes, he has borderline personality disorder. Uh, when he splits, according to Sam, Professor Sam Bachman, uh, they become uh, very psychopathic temporarily. It's not permanent. It's They're not a psychopath, but they temporarily shut down and disassociate into a form of a secondary psychopath, uh, which is just under the psychopath, so that puts them into sociopath category. So anyways, getting on here. Um, that disassociative state is a, is a means to shut down the conscious mind away from the body. Um, this shuts off their true self and they're able to put all their attention onto uh, other people and victims. Uh, and this is a sort of a, uh, a position of comfort for them. Uh, this prolonged eye contact uh, with them when they're in this state of mind is incredibly uncomfortable and unnerving for other people you will probably find yourself looking away often because it's that uncomfortable and you're going to end up feeling like you're not quite a person like you're an object and you're not really being heard and it's almost like you're trying to talk to a wall it's it can actually be incredibly frightening so you will catch yourself definitely turning your head uh literally just going whoa and turning your head and, and, and talking to him that way i have done that before i have experienced it uh, they they do this uh, with this checking out in this disassociative state of mind. It it helps them um, because they're cut they're shutting off their conscious mind, and with that shutting off the conscious mind, they're able to feel superior because they have this this core need to feel superior. So what they do is they'll go within this position of a disassociative mind and the conscious mind shut down. What they do then is they can scan rooms or other people for flaws and other people in order to feel superior. And it's this unemotional, cold, flat effect eyes and the emotions are completely shut off and removed. And so all the emotions are shut down to remove and eliminate all sense of vulnerability for them. So they can have that feeling of omnipotence and superiority. So anyways, they're able to look at other people uh, since all that shut down from a position of superiority. And it's, it is like a container. Their brain is like a container of superiority at that point of view, which gives them what they feel is a bird's eye view of the room, people, everything around them because they're not part of it since all your emotions are shut down and your consciousness and 
uh, human laws and, and decency is shut down at that point as well. So there's that. I'm going to continue on. I just want to finish with my little uh, rant here on this. So the psychos, the psychopath, all the psycho, you know, the paths, I guess I should call them paths, a psychopath, the narcissist, they're all basically paths, all right? So uh, they do get their, sh their short-term kicks uh, and pleasure from sadistic behavior. Uh, politics is their thing. It is their thing because that allows them to reach that that pinnacle of of uh, superiority. That is like the end game. Okay, they are very much drawn to politics. This is why Meghan and Harry are so drawn to politics. This is why they're meddling in po politics. This is why they're trying to shut down free speech. Does this all sound vaguely familiar to us here between this couple? So this helps them feel like. Uh, getting into politics, you know, they have that lack of uh, nervousness, embarrassment, or guilt. Uh, this is what gives off that sense of com confidence that people like. They like or are drawn to that confidence. Unfortunately for this pair, no one's confident in them. Good for us. Um, what happens for neurotypicals is they will revert to a childlike brain and hand over their, their power and control over to the path. I'm just going to call them the paths. It can be one of the paths, a psychopath, a sociopath, or even a narcissist turns into a path. So they hand over all their life on a platter to their leader or their handler. What I think is happening is they do have someone else, which is obviously higher than them, as uh, the Royal Griff Channel has heavily gotten into. Uh, I don't watch all that because it gets pretty dark for me, and I know it's very, very political. I don't like politics, but I kind of understand already so I don't like to get too much into the details, but we know that they are connected to these organizations that are about uh, controlling the narratives of the minds of others. And, you know, propaganda at one time was built by, you know, I've said this before, the propaganda was sort of the Hitlerian days. They had to rename it to something else that's not connected to the Hitlerian days, and they renamed it to uh, personal relations or PR. That was just a nice way of reframing it so that they can mold the public's perceptions. That's what they're doing. And, and I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, they want to be admired. Uh, people who can spot it typically have empathy and they will walk away with their empathy because they can feel the sense of the uncomfortableness, the awkwardness of the flat effect of the eyes. They get that creep factor that the fear will kick in, their, their subconscious will kick in, their intuitive will kick in, and so they will leave. They won't submit like other people if they have high empathy. And so it's those high empathetic people uh, that they will go against the most and, and, and implement their Machiavellian control. And through that Machiavellian controls where they get that sadistic pleasure, which is very temporary and that you will see their, their eyes light up and become alive at that point in time. That's their turn on. And that is the equivalent of what we say is evil, which we know Queen Elizabeth said Megan was quote unquote evil. I believe that too. Harry, I don't think she knew it, but Harry has the capability for evil. Otherwise, he would not have aligned himself with Megan. That's that that uh, empathy switch that I've been talking about for about four years now. He's got an on-off switch being borderline. He can be empath highly empathetic or he can turn very Machiavellian, even himself. That's why he goes blank. That's why his eyes look dead and he disassociates and checks himself out so he can partake in the behavior that his wife is directing him to do. Normally, if he was with a good person, this would not be happening. He's mirroring her, doing what his leader, his handler expects of him. This is why he hasn't walked away. Anyways, uh, so they do come alive during um, love bombing idolization phase. But other than that, they go dead flat, emotionless, and shut down. Uh, the narcissist, the higher the narcissist traits a person has, the more need for admiration, the more they want love, 
and the more that they want control over their facade control image of the public but for a psychopath it's different they don't care they don't need your love they don't have that there's no such qualms in a psychopath but they also have no true happiness uh, since happiness comes from emotional connection and they don't have that ability therefore they cannot feel true joy nor can they feel fear empathy or even any 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 um, anxiety whatsoever but that's a total shutdown Harry does not have that Megan has more of that psychopathic energy and no qualms that's why she was so brazen with the bump the brazen bump not caring size differences she's very more hyper into she has far more psychopathic traits than Harry does by far and large uh, Harry does but he checks out for her and handing himself over on that silver platter like I was stating so going on here they like to ignore the moral laws of nature they don't care they she's expecting him to sacrifice his own interests for hers that is across the board and they do make ally allies and connections just to betray them just to serve the purpose is the end game goals as we know Megan has always said if I can't, I won't give them five minutes if I can't get five years. That's kind of what she means by that. They need to serve a purpose for her. Harry has served this purpose, but this purpose will come to an end. It will come to an end. She, it's only to, to get a certain needs, and when it's drained dry, she will dump him. It is just inevitable. It will happen on her time, not on ours. It will not be on Harry's time. It will be on her time. So anyways, um, they will hide their atrocities from the public. This is why they want that IPP. This is why he wants his quote unquote security. They want to hide, hide, hide. So they want to get that power by any means necessary. So these people they're working with are going to dump them. They are going to dump them because they're, they're not going to serve the purpose for them either. You can't play that higher echelon for so long they might think yeah we're up there with them but that's temporary you guys so i want to get some energy without naming names uh we know that uh, royal grift is discussed though these people that are handling megan and harry how are the handlers feeling about megan and harry right now uh are they almost done with them are they still going to use them how are they feeling about them so this is what i want to do today how are the handlers of megan and harry feeling about them uh, because their days are numbered. They really are numbered. So let's get some energy on the handlers. The handlers of Megan and Harry. The handlers of Megan and Harry are very, are actually probably diagnosable psychopaths. They are the psychopaths of society. I wouldn't even put them in the narcissist category because they don't care. They don't care about love. They just, they will do Machiavellian. They will put, put people in line. And they feel they have that full bird's eye view of everything. With that view, they want to keep that moon energy going with Megan and Harry, which is that shared psychosis, uh, disassociating from reality, and mirroring them and expecting the mirroring and expecting the fantasy and the illusion and the rigid follower uh, energy in them and to lose trust in other people and trust them only as a parental figure and do what I tell you and drop yourself and follow myself. This is also what you will find with gurus. Same thing with the guru energy. So how are the handlers feeling about Megan and Harry? How are the handlers feeling about Megan and Harry? How are the handlers feeling about Megan and Harry right now? Are they still serving them? How's it going? How's it going? We have here, be careful what you say. So it's looking like they're, they're, they might be done with them because the, it's a love triangle. It's sort of a, a triangular situation of vengeance. Here, it's about kind of ending it. It's, it's, um, it's, it is coming to an end with this position uh, because they can't use them anymore. I think they've gotten as much as they can with them in causing pain and suffering. The three in reverse is basically the wrong moves are being made. Uh, the endeavors are coming to an end. The expansion is coming to an end. Uh, it's basically having to go back to old plans or because there's been some wrong moves 
uh, the success isn't quite coming in as much. There's a lack three in reverse is a lack of growth, lack of communication. So it's looking like it's shutting down. I would put that into a no position. It's shutting down. Here is like, yeah, we like causing pain and suffering, triangulation, betrayal. I think they've gotten what they can out of them. So it's coming to an end. And it's coming to an end because the path is coming to an end with the page of pentacles in reverse. So it's coming to an end, definitely. Uh, this here is, it's the dark ego issues. Uh, it's disappointment, the pentacles down. Uh, there's some doubt there. There's some delays and setbacks in the energy. Uh, it's just, a, it's a loss position. So it's a loss position. It's a no position with it in reverse. That page of pentacles in reverse is not a yes. I've got two no's on the table. So them telling them, no, I think we're done with you. Uh, there's a, it's an irresponsible position and dropout position with the page of pentacles in reverse, uh, lazy, not loyal, not dedicated, lacking progress position. Uh, so basically in procrastination position. So I think like, uh, other people, they're done with them. Uh, they've gotten what they can from it. The situation's coming to a close. Challenging position. Challenging position is communicating with them because they're kind of lazy in getting back to them. So there's not a lot of communication. Communication is a struggle. Uh, getting the approval is a struggle because that is getting the approval saying, yes, come on in, come back. We're a team. We're the team. The teamwork makes the dream work is a challenge. So it's a challenge getting them to actually listen. To them. So I would say Megan and Megan, it's not Harry, feels more superior than her handlers. She feels more superior communicating with her and getting her to do what they want her to do and getting her on the, on board and getting her to do what they want is, is a challenge. So they're having a problem because she's hyper-focused on herself. She's thinking she's the leader now. I don't need to follow you. Just like she did with Queen Elizabeth, she's pulling on them. Just like she did with anyone else who's supposed to tell her what to do and follow the rules and regulations of, uh, of, an, of a government or anything like she's not going to do it. Be careful what you say in communication. You're falling flat here. So I think she's pulling. She, can, she won't lead. She won't allow herself to be led by anyone else. So she, it puts her in a very psychopathic state of mind. Uh, she's not going to do it. So here we go. Yep. So basically telling her no because she wants to glow up. So they're saying, no, you're not going to. This isn't, this isn't suiting us. So basically it's corruption for attention. Corruption for attention, dishonesty for attention. So I think they're done. They can't, they can't get her to, do, they, they need to be in control of her. She's not, up, she's not up for it. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to position these and then I'm going to uh, pull them, turn them over. Hidden, hidden. Give me the hidden. Give me the hidden. Hidden. That wants up. That wanted out. I'm going to take that too. Whoa, I showed you. <laughs> oh, wow. Past position. Oh, I had it. Past position. There it is. Okay, I showed it to you. I might as well show you this one. All right, I'll just tell you these ones. So basically, past position that doesn't serve is saying goodbye and at the end of the road, and it's not what they expected. So that does not serve them. So they didn't really want to end it. She gets very emotional here. Uh, her needs, her empathy, acting like she's, but what about me? I'm so sad. The sad queen, uh, nurturing energy. So trying to nurture Megan to keep her to uh, keep the fire lit under her butt is difficult because she likes to get lazy. She's, she's hyper-focused on her own needs and attention and where her path, she's like, this isn't my path, my journey anymore. Very hard to get her on board to be a team player. Megan doesn't play teams with anybody. She's got to be very careful what she says because she, she knows she can't end it. So she gets emotional. She cries. She gets overly sad and emotional. She acts pretty like, well, what about me? I'm pretty sad here. Uh, it's, it's, everything's morally corrupt for attention and to be successful at the moral corruption. And here she's, they're at crossroads in terms of keeping her with the King of Pentacles 
and here it would be the leader here uh, and it's about money it's about resources and it's about giving her help because the king of pentacles is all about uh, guidance and giving you guidance financially so there's a crossroad of money here situation going on and they have their hearts blocked up they don't care that they're having financial issues that she's like well we have some financial issues to solve here i know you want us to do some corruption for attention and draw more attention for our corrupt uh angle that we have in life and we're supposed to communicate this corruption and this narrative and close things down but i'm not ready to close it just yet because this is how she gets her her fuel and they're like, well, we don't care that you have money issues and that you're at this crossroad and you need to find your own way in life. They don't care about that. So be careful what you say because you're sad and, and, and depressed. Uh, depressed queen here. We don't really care. Uh, maybe you're just a little too lazy for us right now. And we realize that you want to go on your own way now uh, because you served us enough and you expect payment. They want money in the bank. And she doesn't have the money in the bank, nor do they have the power at this point in time. So there is this, de there is this debate going on over money and assistance and sort of a daddy figure. So this is that parental energy I was saying of the highly psychopathic malignant uh, leader. Megan's focused on attention and stardom. So this is why they're having the war and the battle because she wants to look high vibe. She's more concerned. There's that bird's eye view I was telling you about thinking that we have healing energy. The, the struggle is to make it look like it's high vibe. We're doing this for high vibe so everybody can benefit. But really, it's for Megan's benefit. Megan wants to be a celebrity. Megan wants to be an actress. Megan wants to look good. So this is the narcissism in her. And her and acting emotional over, I need to be a celebrity. This was all about me becoming a big star. She's obsessed with becoming a celebrity, as we know. So here he is saying, well, I don't really care. You're supposed to follow the strategy and the plan with the King of Swords. We told you what to do. Pay attention and listen. So they kind of handle her with sort of kid gloves here. But his heart's not on a sleeve. He could care less about her emotions. Don't tell me about your emotions. I don't care about your emotions. The King, King of Swords is not going to care. It's a lawyer position. It's strategic, so they handle her with, like, lawyer energy. They handle them like that. So this is the strategy and the plan. You're supposed to listen to it. Then the hopes and fears uh, is a four of swords, defeated. They feel very defeated, and they're not emotions are not being felt or heard, and they don't care. I don't care about your emotions. Go suffer somewhere else and take it elsewhere. We don't care you're suffering. We don't care you feel defeated and you need to know what the next plan is. I will tell you the next plan when the plan's available. I will tell you. Don't get all pissy money on me. Go, go rest and retreat if you need to. I'll let you know. I know you want to be a star. So this is like, it's like trying to handle a little teenager. I'm getting teenager vibes, like trying to deal with a teenager who's telling their daddy, how can I be a big star, Daddy? I want to be a celebrity. How can I get there? And I think they find her to be quite pathetic, is what I'm getting here. And then she's so defeated because she hasn't gotten, she's so focused on her feelings of becoming a star and getting that. But she'll never get there. Sorry, you're, you're low on the totem pole here. Uh, this is antisocial. The, the Hierophant in reverse has absolute total disregard for social norms. And she knows that she feels defeated because she wants to be the queen. She wants to be top. She wants to be mentor position. She's being told, no, you're not a mentor. Sit down and shut up. Uh, this is, we don't care about social approval here. They're psychopathic leaders. We don't care about social approval. We don't do that. We don't care about your family, your husband. We don't care about spirit. We don't care about family values. We don't care about who's giving you advice. Anyone else giving you advice, we don't care. You're not giving us advice. We don't care what you want to tell us. We know Megan likes to give advice, be in a position of mentorship, but you're not in that position and you never will be sit down and shut up kind of energy. 
uh, basically. Uh, this is generational and you're not part of it. You're not a mentor and you never will be. We're telling you no. And it's also the marriage card in reverse. They know that they're not happily married. Uh, they know that they're never in the, they're not in the royal family anymore and they're not getting back. And it's also about taking down the monarchy. It's about taking down King Charles because King Charles is now the Hierophant. So basically, I feel they still want to take down the establishments of uh, how hierarchies work in government and ceremonial. They want to shut that all down. Uh, any healing energy, shut it down. Any, any sacred church, family values, society values, take it all down. So this is the takedown. They want the hurt, and we don't care if you're feeling defeated because you want the attention and you want to get, you want to be a star. We don't care that you, your aim was you want to go back in and become the next Queen Elizabeth. Not going to happen. And take down Catherine because you can't have that position. She feels Megan feels very destroyed that she cannot get back in because that's the only way she knows that she can actually get attention now, and it's not going to be through them. She knows she's defeated with them now. She knows they're in debate mode about cutting her, about probably doing a judge, jury, executioner on her, because she's too emotional, she's too focused on celebrity, and she'll never, she's truly never going back. So they are in debate mode about even communicating with her. They're being very careful about what they say to her at this point in time. She has to listen more than speak. You're supposed to hear us out. We don't care what your ideas are because you're basically being told, no, we know you're a corrupt card and you have legal problems and this is a legal issue for her. We can make it very hard and rough for you and you will lose. You will not win against us. She knows any attempts to go after them will be a loss for her because they've got too many strong lawyer minds too strategic and smart and they can take her down very easily take her down take her down and she will never glow up and get what she wants nor will she ever get the healing energy the idea of her healing is a no because she'll never get it and she'll always be a rebellion they will disregard her so we're going to start disregarding you so they're going to start disregarding them is the final call here and then basically just go and have a good time, Megan, with the Four of Cups in reverse. Why don't you just go and, and enjoy life a little bit and try and find some pleasures? Uh, they don't care about them. It's the Four of Cups. Uh, we have no feelings for you. They're completely shut down, but we're having a good time here. So this is we're just sort of enjoying ourselves. They don't care. It is still platonic energy of the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is very platonic, very rejecting of other people. It's very cold, aloof. It's very perfectionist mindset with lack of empathy. There's no emotional investment there. Total lack of emotional investment. It is the attachment dysregulation card, but we're just trying to have a good time here. So let's just try, we're just trying here. So they're going to actually try to avoid them. They're going to try to avoid them and they're just having a good time and avoiding them. Why don't you just go and have a good time? And then, and then maybe things will get better for you if you put in better moves for us uh, with the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is, jo is a waiting position. We'll just wait. Just go have a good time and wait. It it's kind of has the energy <clears throat> of Hollywood. Wait for the phone call. If you get the job, we'll call you. Just sit and wait. So have a good time and wait, and we'll let you know when we want to talk to you next time. So this puts them in a position of inferiority, and they're in a position of superiority, and we don't care if you're connected to the world. We don't care who you are, Megan, and that you were on suits. We simply don't care. And you're going to do as we tell you. <clears throat> but this is total disregard. They don't care about them. And I see them getting dumped eventually too, because they got what they wanted. They can't they can't get any more from them anymore. I think they've used up all all of what they can, and it does come to an end. It does come to an end. Don't think when when when. Trust me, it will come because it always comes from a psychopath, and even from a narcissist or a sociopath. Eventually, the, the it it runs dry. They bleed you dry and then they spit you out. So that's spitting out energies on the table. 
I hope you enjoyed this read. Till next time, like and subscribe, and I'll say it again, entertainment purposes and allegedly. All right, you guys. Bye, you guys.